We're out here on the streets of Waterloo, Ontario for a five minute portrait challenge. And uh, I'm joined by Clarissa, and she's gonna run in heels. Let's go. All right, first location. I can have you just up against this. Uh, actually, no, you're wearing dark clothes, so let's go back this way. You are true. Right in the center before the window. And we're done. Getting people close to walls helps the bounce factor. It makes like the perfect lighting kind of anywhere. Um, the background, however, because it is kind of 12 noon light, is a little bit blown out. I'm also shooting everything at 1.4 because I just like the look of that. Cool. All right, let's continue. So this is uh, creating the most natural urban frame. I think in kind of the in right there. Back a little bit though. That's good there. So we are creating the, the urban frame right here with a telephone pole, some leaves, and it's really not working too well. But at least I've identified that. Can I bring you to the side of the pole? And if I have out of focus pole in the foreground, uh, move back just a little bit. A little bit of depth, a little foreground out of focus, background out of focus. This is the alleyway where I shot my first ever promotional video for my photography company. I'm gonna have you right in the center of it. Basically, we shot it with an EX3, I think, with a huge adapter on it. So I had to be way down where that car is. This is really good. This looks like it's studio lit with this. Uh, this is a good. So basically how this is working is that this light over here is uh, just bouncing all kind of perfect light back into the scene. And it's essentially like I've just made this huge studio light and it's perfect. Yeah, as far as lighting goes, this is like the nicest uh, just random lighting I've ever found down an alleyway. Cool. Yeah. Can I make you walk towards me? Perfect. I like to make people walk because then you get to see all of the light, how it changes. And the spot that we were at is the best of all of the spots. So very nice though. Can I do one without a focus rakes in the foreground? Do you want to be just on the other side of the rakes? Yeah, just through the little, the rake window. This is something that only really works at f1.4. So again, finding that perfect balance. I'm gonna have you under this, uh, under the tree here. And this is our last location of our five minute walk around the block challenge. And you know what, you wanna come close, way closer to me? <laughs> right there's good. And again, getting really nice bounce off this wall over here. Studio bounces everywhere. All right, and for the last of our five minutes, I will be attempting to get reflections off of my phone. I'm gonna say this is copyright Sam Hurd 2018. And basically what you do is you can just bring in random elements that would not normally exist in your frame, like the trees from way up above. And the idea is to keep it kind of as shallow depth of field as possible so that you uh, kind of just get those nice dreamy Boca, bokai, bokau um, elements in the foreground. I guess that's all for uh, our five minute challenge. It was fun. It's fun. It's over. High five. <laughs> we went around one whole city block and we took as many photos as we could. And we only almost got hit by a bike just now. Prior to that, we did not almost get hit by any bikes whatsoever. Until next time. I don't have a sign off phrase. <laughs>